Good evening, everyone. My name is Abdullah Baisha, and today I'm going to present our work efficient and exact public transport routing by a transfer connection database by myself, Mark Wallace, Daniel Harper, and Buji Shin. Public transport uh, journey planning applications have become essential part of people's everyday life thanks to the remarkable advances in routing algorithms. However, there's still some room for improvement. Uh, typically, a central server is responsible to handle queries and which might uh, receive a high number of queries within a short time period. Therefore, queries have to be answered efficiently. At the same time, public transport networks have a, a unique structure compared to road networks, where we have to handle with the time dimension in addition to the space dimension. This results in uh, existing works being uh, not efficient enough in this field. Most existing algorithms you uh, model transfers using uniform transfer costs, with, uh, whether within stations or between nearby stations. And this often lead to infeasible or suboptimal journeys. Some other works use comprehensive walking graph where all pairs of stops are somehow connected in the network. And unfortunately, this leads to costly pre-processing and slow queries. Our contributions are to introduce a novel algorithm that solves public transport routing problem efficiently and accurately, demonstrating the importance of modeling transfers using exact transfer costs, and pro proposing an efficient method for building a compressed path database in public transport networks. Our approach transfer connection database, TCD, consists of three, st three st steps, uh, network modeling, offline pre-processing, and online query. We start with timetable modeling, where we use a timetable-based approach. Our timetable consists of stops. Uh, a typical example is um, a platform in a train station. Then the nearby stops can be put into uh, one station if they are uh, close to each other and if they serve the same uh, public transport mode. And we have connections, and each connection represents an, an, an event where a public transport vehicle depart from some stop uh, at some departure time, arrive at some other um, stop at some arrival time using some trip. And we have a trips, T, and each trip is just like a sequence of connections that share the same vehicle. And finally, we have footpaths F, and uh, footpaths are used to model walking transfers between stops. In this example, we have footpath F1 from stop P1 to stop P2 with a cost of seven minutes. And then we can combine all connections into one connections array, and we sort the connections by uh, increasing departure time. For um, modeling transfers, we consider exact transfer costs, and then we add footpath between every pair of stops within stations. We also add footpath between every pair of stops between nearby stations. And we also uh, add more footpaths in order to create a transitively closed footpath graph. Based on that, we can define neighborhoods uh, and neighbors. Uh, and a neighborhood in this case is a set of stations uh, between which users can walk. Now, in this um, paper, we focus on the earliest arrival time problem. And one observation is that users uh, do not really uh, care about like what stop or platform they start their journey uh, within the origin uh, station. Uh, at the same time, they also don't care about uh, which platform they arrive at the destination station. Based on that, we define our query on a station level. And our objective is to find a journey that departed from the origin station no earlier than some desired departure time and arriving at the destination station as early as possible. And a journey in this case is a sequence of connections from the origin station to the destination station. The second step is the offline pre-processing. Our, our uh, pre-processing is inspired by the compressed path database, CBD. And uh, what CBD does is to identify the first move on the optimal path or journey for any OD pair in the network. In this case, also in public transport network, we have the departure time constraint. Now, uh, consider a query a queue from A to J at some uh, departure time. CBD will answer the question, what is the first optimal move from A to J? In this case, it's by taking connection C1 from A to B. And then we ask the question recursively. Now, what is the first optimal move from B to J? And the answer is connection C2, and so on. We continue until we reach the destination J. 
In this case, we need eight lookups. However, we can do better. Uh, we have uh, an observation, which is the information about journey transfers is sufficient to answer queries. So the intermediate stops, we don't um, we don't really care about the intermediate stops. We just uh, care about the transfer stops or transfer stations within a journey. And um, accordingly, we redefine the first move to be in terms of the next transfer connection instead of next connection. What is transfer connection? Transfer connection is a sequence of connections that share the same trip or vehicle. So in our uh, uh, JQ, in this case, the first three connections, C1, C2, C3, share the same trip T1, so they can be put into one transfer connection, TC1. And also the uh, transfer connection can be represented by the first and last connections, like TC1 equals C1, C3. If we want now to answer the questions using this new concept, what would be the first optimal move from A to J? It would be using transfer connection TC1 from A to D on a trip T1. Then what is the optimal move from D to J? It would be using transfer connection TC2 from D to H. And finally, we can take TC3 from H to J using T3. And this means we only have three lookups instead of eight previously. The objective of our offline pre-processing phase is to build a table that stores all first moves or transfer connections for all OD pairs considering all potential departure times. And this table called FT table. So one approach is to um, use a station to station FT table. And this we call the naive approach. However, this approach have one major limitation, which is the redundant labels. So consider um, um, if we like, want to go from station S1 to station S4. Now, because we can walk from S1 to S2, so this means we can take a departure or a train from S2, although uh, our origin station is S1, and vice versa. So this means the labels from S1 to S3, for example, or S4, would, would be almost the same uh, as uh, for the uh, labels from S2 to S4. And this cause, uh, um, a, like, um, this can lead to a significant uh, portion of redundant labels. To solve this issue, we uh, propose our refi uh, refined approach, which is neighborhood to station FT table. And in this case, the rows represent the origin neighborhoods, the columns represent destination stations, and um, uh, a specific OD cell, for example, FT N1 S4, uh, contains the first moves on the optimal journeys from N1 to S4. And these uh, Transfer connections are sorted by the arrival time at the destination station, in this case, S4. Now, to compute a row, FT and I, we can run one digester search for every departure event from the origin neighborhood and I. However, this can lead to some challenges. The first one is the computation time. Notice like, uh, the, the time uh, of uh, building the FT table might be too long. And uh, we solve this by using a connection scan algorithm, CSA instead of Digestra. This is because CSA is faster, cache efficient, and does not require periodic queue. The second challenge would be the storage. So we can get um, a large FT table. And we solve this issue by proposing some optimizations. We have two optimizations in this paper. The first one is the dominance check, which remove all time-dominated transfer connections in each cell of the FT table. And the second optimization called transfer connection compression, where we change the representation of transfer connections to enable label merging in each cell of the FT table. Now, the last step would be to uh, answer queries online. Let's have an example, which is a query from S2 to S5, uh, the batch time at 8.30. Of course, we're gonna use um, our uh, pre-computed FT table. And because S2 belongs to N1, the neighborhood N1, we look at the cell FT N1 S5. And this cell has two uh, transfer connections. And the first reachable transfer connection will lead to the optimal journey. In this case, the first reachable transfer connection is C7 V8. So connection C7 departs from S2, which is the origin, origin station. So we don't need to do any transfers. Or like we always they can catch uh, the connection C7. And we keep, uh, like we remain seated on C7 until we arrive at P8. At, step, uh, at uh, stop P8, we get off the train, and then 
uh, because B8 belongs to N3, we now look at uh, cell FTN3S5. And N3S5 have uh, two uh, paths again. And the first reachable one in this case is C11B9. And because C11 departs from B7, and we are currently at B8, so we have to check first if we can catch C11 uh, when we transfer from B8 to B7. In this case, this is uh, possible. So we can uh, walk from B8 to B7 and catch C11. And then because we arrived at uh, S5 at time N905, uh, uh, the algorithm terminates as we reach the destination. Now we have three experiments. The first experiment is the transfer model impact. So we compare our, uh, our exact transfer cost with two uniform costs, the max model and min model. In max model, we consider the maximum transfer time within stations and also between uh, every pair of stations. In the min model, we consider the minimum transfer costs. Uh, we run um, the comparison on three networks, Berlin, Paris, and London. On all of the networks, we can see that using this max and min model lead to a significant uh, uh, percentage of queries being affected and delayed uh, compared to the uniform transfer time. So the maximum model is uh, delayed by uh, like up to five minutes for these affected queries, while uh, the min model can lead to uh, even more severe uh, delays up to 10 to 15 minutes across the three uh, networks. Now we also report some, um, now for the second experiment, we report some uh, memory or size consumption uh, for the uh, Oracle uh, across the different combination optimizations. And we can see that the full optimized version can reduce the space by 75 to 80%. Uh, interestingly, uh, at uh, or like with um, negligible time overhead. The final experiment is the runtime comparison. We compare the performance of our, of our algorithm with two uh, of the state of the art algorithms, CSA and Raptor. And as we can see, uh, our algorithm is consistently faster by two to three orders of magnitude uh, compared to CSA and Raptors, uh, respectively, uh, across the uh, three uh, networks and the th all times of the day. And uh, finally, our future work include extending TCD to add this additional aspects, such as the multi-criteria routing problem, and also enhancing the compression of the database even further. Thanks for listening, and I'm ready to answer your questions. Thank you.